Andy Katz here for March Madness and NCAA.com with a bracket breakdown. Yes, our first bracket as we look ahead to the 2021 season. This is based off my Power 36 tipping off the season. So I've got a seed list, but let's just go over the top four lines, the first four and the first four out. All right, top four seeds, Gonzaga, Baylor, Villanova, and Illinois. No surprise with the top three. I know having Illinois as a number one seed may shock some people, but I think based on what the Illini have coming back with Ayo DeSumo and Kofi Coburn, they could win the Big Ten, and if you win this Big Ten, you're going to be a number one seed. Two seeds. Got a couple of Big Ten teams in Iowa and Wisconsin because I think those two will really challenge Illinois. It's going to be one of those three that's going to win the Big Ten. Top team in the ACC, Virginia, and then Kansas. So right off the bat, you've got two Big 12 teams in the top two lines, three Big 10 teams, one Big East, one ACC. Let's go to the third line. Kentucky and Tennessee, they're going to go one, two, some order in the SEC. Duke, which certainly will challenge Virginia for the top spot in the ACC. And then Michigan State, yes, another Big Ten team. And the Spartans' big question, of course, is at the point. All right, rounding up the top 16 teams for my first bracket, the four seeds. Rutgers, another Big Ten team that returns the core of their group. Ron Harper Jr., Geo Baker. Arizona State, I think the Sun Devils will be the team to beat out of the Pac-12. Now that they're going to play beginning on November 25th, like everyone else but the Ivy. Texas Tech, another squad that is going to challenge near the top of the Big 12. And then Creighton, the Blue Jays, which more than likely will be picked second to Villanova in the Big East. So that was, those are my top 16, my top four seeds in our first bracket. Let's go to Dayton, where I could have put a host of teams. My first four, Louisville versus San Diego State, St. John's versus Cincinnati. I'm banking on all four of those schools becoming much better as the season progresses. They all lost a lot, but I think they're all trending in the right direction. But in terms of my teams that are first four out or even beyond that, any of these teams certainly could have been in that position, and as we do this, they certainly will. Dayton, Clemson, NC State, Utah, Auburn, Arizona, Arkansas, SMU. Could have gone in any direction with those last spots for our first bracket of the 2020-21 season.